Toys vs Books Children are very curious. There is always curiosity in their minds. What's in this room? What's in that box? They don't sit still without finding out. Gattu Chinki were also like that. Whether it be grandma's old box or a locked room in the house, soon after seeing that, they used to start spying. It was a Sunday. Gattu Chinki were watching cartoon when suddenly the power went out. Shit, man! There's a power shutdown. What should we do now? Go out. The weather isn't pleasant outside. Neither there's sun nor cold. Unseasonal clouds are swirling in the sky. What season it is going on? I don't understand. Anyway, it's a bad weather outside. Mom has told us not to go out. Yes, a strong cold wind is blowing outside. Sometimes the sun is coming out, and sometimes it's drizzling. In such a weather, we will definitely fall ill. That's why Mom has told not to go out. Yes, but now what we will do sitting at home? Come on. Let's go to mom and dad's room. There, we will definitely get a lot of things to pass the time. You know, mom keeps a lot of things hiding from us in her wardrobe. Then we must go. Then what? Gattu Chinki ran to their parents' room, and then they began spying. Opened the cupboard and started looking. Opened the drawer and started looking, but still they couldn't find anything special. That's when Gattu's eyes fell on an old cupboard. That was Dad's wardrobe. It was brought from the village only a few days back. The wardrobe had two separate doors. Both the doors were locked from the outside. I asked Mom many times for the key of this cupboard, but she said that it contains some necessary items of Dad. We can't open it without Dad's permission. Gattu looked at the cupboard very carefully. It's quite an old and strange wardrobe. Two different doors and both of them locked from outside. There will be definitely two separate compartments inside also. Dad is also at home today. We must find out what is inside this wardrobe. Gattu simply ran to Dad and asked him for the key to the cupboard. Dad, please. We want to see what's in that cupboard. Seeing the excitement of the children, Dad also got into the mood of fun. You will get the key, but on one condition. And what's that? Let's go to the cupboard. Dad brought both of them in front of the cupboard. Did you see? The cupboard has two separate doors, and both are locked from the outside, which means there are two compartments inside, and both of them have precious treasures of my childhood. Treasure? Wow! Yes, I will give all the treasure to both of you. But first, you have to choose any one of the two compartments. Whoever chooses a compartment, all the treasure inside it will belong to that person. But without knowing what's inside, how do we choose? That is my first and last condition. Poor Gattu Chinki were compelled. They had to obey their father. I will stand in front of this door. No, uh, left side is lucky for me. Uh, I will stand in front of that. Then remains the right side. This door is mine. Sure. Think once again. Now no, you, you don't, don't say, say anything. anything. Just, Just open it. Then Dad opened the door which Gattu had chosen. It was only filled with books and nothing else. Poor Gattu became annoyed after seeing the books. Oh God! I don't want books. Please, please, please! When Dad opened the door that Chinky had chosen, lots of toys came out from that side. Yay! These books and toys are the most precious treasures of my childhood, which made my childhood memorable. From today, this treasure is yours. Take care. Now I must go. Saying this, their father left. I have got all the old classic toys, and you got these torn old books. Gattu felt really sad when he got the books, and Chinky got all the toys. But he did not show his grief to Chinky. You will be bored with these toys in a few days, but I will never be bored by reading books. There are all story books like Colorful Unicorn, The Fairy Tales, The Magical Forest. Oh God! This is a magical treasure. You go and read your story books. I have all these toys. This bear, this drum. There is a wooden tractor too. 
I will play with all these alone. I will also never let you read a single story. Thus a war broke out between the toys and the books. Gattu went to his room to read fairy tales and Chinky went to the gallery and started playing with her toys. For half an hour, both of them were busy in their own world. But after half an hour, Chinky became bored by playing with toys because she was not used to playing alone. On the other side, Gattu was enjoying the fairy tale. He was enjoying it too much. But then Gattu started thinking. What a unique fairy tale this is. If Chinky would have heard it, she would have enjoyed it too. Just then, Chinky came to him with all her toys. I am getting bored playing alone. You also play with me, please? And I also didn't enjoy reading the story alone. Come on, let me tell you this interesting fairy tale. Oh wow, I love fairy tales. Let's do one thing. First we'll enjoy the story, then we will play with the toys. Then both of them enjoyed the story. And after that, both started playing with Dad's unique toys collection. Dad was also happy seeing both of them together. Kids, I was just kidding with you two. I wanted to see who does what after getting the books and what reaction you guys gave after getting the toys. But I am glad that you both like to read books along with playing. Dad, books are more important or toys? Son, both are equally important for children because the toys entertain and books increase knowledge along with entertainment. Books make us see a new world from which we get good experiences. For this, along with playing, reading books as well makes us move forward. Gattu Chinki were happy hearing this, so they hugged their father. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them and subscribe.